Okay, it is November 25th, 2016, and this Dexter board has a short circuit on it somewhere. And the way I'm going to try to find the short circuit is I'm going to apply, um, I got this power supply that can apply a constant current, so I'm going to apply a small amount of constant current through the power supply, and then I'm going to try to find where on the power supply it's getting warm and hope I'm hoping that by doing so I'll be able to find where the short circuit is okay I I don't I'm not really that good at tracking down short circuits but here's what I've observed so I've been I applied power right here in order to bypass the fuse there's like a a resettable fuse right here that'll get if too much current passes through it'll get hot and shut down so I trying to bypass the fuse um, but all the way up until this point I was measuring some voltage about 0.3 which was what I expected because I'm sending about one amp through and that's enough to make about 0.3 volts so at this point I was measuring 0.3 at this point I was also measuring 0.3 which is kind of interesting since this fuse is supposed to shut down however at this point up here I don't know if you can see that I was measuring almost zero and this, I was also measuring zero here, and I was also also amazing, measuring zero here and zero here. So, I am going to remove this capacitor and see if that fixes anything. Because what could be happening is, there's voltage here, comes, hits the capacitor, and then it's shorter to ground, and so it just immediately the voltage immediately diverts to ground and nothing makes it over here. Um, and if I'm wrong, and if removing the capacitor doesn't fix it, then it's not a big deal because I've got a million of these million, million of these capacitors and they're like really cheap. They're like 10 cents each or something. So it's a quick and, quick and cheap test for me to just clip this capacitor off and see if that fixes it. Okay, that didn't fix the problem, removing the capacitor. And since I've had so many problems with this part having solder bridges underneath it, this is my next target that I'm going to attack. I'm going to remove this because when I measure the voltage right here on the, the 5 volt pin, it's like zero. And it's, it shouldn't be zero, it should be you know, 0.3 or something. So I'm wondering if somehow all of this is bridged across. I don't know how that could happen, but that's the next thing I'm going to check. Well, here's my power supply. As you can see, it's not pushing one amp through like it was before when the short circuit was live and the voltage is remaining steady. And as you can see, the LED is now lit, which means the short circuit problem is gone. And sure enough, it was these pin headers that was the problem. Once I removed it, everything seemed to be fixed. So... Dang, why can't I focus? It's a camera. So, I've had so many problems with bad soldering jobs right here. I'm definitely going to complain about that. So, um, this is pretty cool because I didn't actually have to destroy much of the board. I, t I was able to find the problem pretty quickly by just I'm testing voltage points around the board and noticing where the voltage was dropping and I noticed the voltage was dropping uh, let's see I noticed like right here where it should have been it should have been a voltage point I noticed the voltage was zero I noticed right here the voltage was zero here let me go back to my better picture I noticed right here that the voltage was zero and here and here that the voltage was zero so I was pretty sure that somewhere before this point, the voltage was getting diverted. And here, 
uh, I can't remember if I was seeing any voltage here. I think I was not seeing very much here. And I was not seeing very much here, but I was seeing a little bit. So I was pretty sure the problem was like around here or here or here. And I wasn't sure if the fuse here was interfering at all. So that's why I removed it. I have like a million of these fuses, so it'll be really easy to solder on a new one. And like I said, I have a million of these capacitors. So it wasn't really a big deal for me to clip both of these out just to eliminate them from contention. Uh, but sure enough, these stupid pin headers. I don't even know how it possibly could have been bridged. I checked, I checked connect, connectivity between these and these were not connected, this was not connected, so there must have been like a line of solder going from here, between here, over to here. I don't even know how that's possible, but <laughs> it's, it's so frustrating. I've had so many problems with these, and these were soldered on by the factory. Like, it wasn't, it wasn't like amateurs, it was like professionals doing this, so I don't even know. But, I don't know, I'm very happy to finally get this solved and very happy to learn a little bit more about solving and diagnosing short circuits and it gave me an excuse to buy this cool power supply which is a lot cooler than like the wall warts that you get at least I think it is so I hope you enjoyed the video hopefully uh, you learned something because I sure did I'll see you next time